To save on your guys' time, I've started a bit beforehand. So here we have Vallejo Heavy Red, and also Shard Brown from Vallejo, and Kaki from the Vallejo Game Color Range. These are done with simple base coats. This is Night Lords Part 2. Let's get started. So for this first part we are using Bloody Red from the Vallejo Game Color Range. And I'm using a dry brush here just to do some stippling to get a bit of a texture on the cloak. And we'll just go around the cloak and we'll also add some edge highlighting and just building up that color. And right here we are adding some edge highlights to all, to all the edges all around the cloak. And as always with edge highlighting you want to thin down your paint to a nice consistency. And you want your the side of, of your brush to rest perpendicular against the edge and just drag it along. And the lighter your touch is, the thinner your line will be. And here I'm using stippling once again. And this is a really good way to build up transitions. It's pretty quick and easy. You can of course use multiple paints and bigger and smaller brushes and you can also even use a sponge for example which I will be trying out at some point. And now it's time to reinforce the shadows. So the first color we're using here is Red Tone from the Army Painter color range. And we're just adding these, adding this paint to all the crevices and folds. And we'll just come back once that's done. And the good thing about stippling and this technique is that you can always go back to your previous colors and do some touch-ups. And while that red wash is drying, we are going to use some Word Bears Red from the Citadel color range. And we're going to start highlighting that upper cloak with a simple layer. So going back to the red part of the cloak now, and this time we're using another wash. This time it's Dark Tone from Army Painter. And we're basically going to do the same thing again to get even darker shadows. And we'll come back once this is completely dry. So now we're going back to the highlights on the red cloak. And this time we're using a mix between red skin flesh and bloody red. And it's a mix. And also we're using a bit of stippling, a little edge highlighting, 
and going a bit back and forth. And now it's time for another wash. And we're using dark tone again, uh, just to get some shading into that brown leather. And right here we're taking some bloody red, since it's still on the palette. And we're highlighting the wings on the helmet and a few other red details here and there. But we also need to do the purity seals. For the wax we are using Warlord Purple. And for the parchment paper we're using Rackgarth Flesh. And again it's simple base coats, one or two. So we get a good coverage. Okay, so continuing on with the cloak. And this time we're using Doombull Brown. And now we're basically doing what we've been doing for this entire video. Stippling and some edge highlighting in order to build some texture to that leather. And we're focusing on mainly the raised surfaces because we want some of that black shading to stay in the recesses. And now it's time for another layer. And this time we're using Tusk or Fur which is the last highlight for this cloak. So here we're using Strong Tone from the Army Painter. You can also use Agrexo Shade from Citadel if you don't have this one. And we will be going over the parchment and all the bone details. And we'll just give this a good wash. One thing to be mindful of when washing is that you don't want to put on too much because uh, due to gravity it will quite easily pool at the bottom of everything you're painting. So you want to keep an eye on it and if you can see, see it pooling too much just wick it away and put it somewhere else. So we'll just go over this now and come back once it's dry. And as for this last two parts of the video, we will be using Screaming Skull as a dry brush. And we will swiftly move on to using elfic flesh. And with that, let's move over to the grand reveal. In the next video, we will try to finish the model up. And if you like this part, consider subscribing like and share the video and feel free to leave any comments down below this is cursed brush signing out